Hey everybody, welcome back. Getting ready to do a science experiment. I thought it'd be kind of interesting. At the end, I'll uh, ask you guys what you think. Uh, need some opinions on this. Got the mud motor together. Got it done. Getting ready to finish it up. It's all done. Got that done. Throttle cable. Everything's good. I wanted to see if this would start it. It's a little 12-volt Milwaukee battery. It's kind of a knockoff one, but they're, they're pretty decent batteries. I bought... Two of these seven amp hours, yeah, seven amp hours, and two of these, I put one of them on some Hot Wheel cars, or Power Wheels, or whatever they are, the little RC cars for kids. My kids, you know, them things are everywhere, and the batteries are always bad, and you can, and they're not worth a crap when they're new, hardly, anyway. So, I bought these, these were real cheap, I think, two pack of these was 25 bucks delivered, and a two pack of these was oh I don't know 45 50 bucks but they seem to work good the little power wheels with the, the one with the six volt motor you know it'll run for like 45 minutes on this thing and it's still going the kid gets tired of riding it you know 30 40 minutes and it's still hot so but weight is what I was thinking it'd be kind of nice and also if it works mount it down here on the transom because they're very light and i'm not running lights or nothing on this yeah hold on a little bragging screw just right there so anyways we're gonna try this as an experiment but with these lithium batteries i checked this this is putting out 15 15 and a half volt when it's revved up nine when it's not so the only thing i'm worried about is you know Will it blow this up too long? Because lithiums ain't like a lead acid. You just can't keep dumping overcurrent to them. So let me know below what you guys think on that subject on the charging or if you know anything about that. Obviously, I'm going to do some homework before I leave it on here, but we're going to see if this will start it. I'm betting it will because these starters are gear reducted too. Pretty sure they look like they are. They sound like they are. So I'll set the camera up. We'll get this going. And we're going to do a science experience, see if a Milwaukee M12 battery will start a Predator engine. Now, I know some of say, I'm not going to say this ain't a Predator, but I mean, it's 212 cc's, it's a Honda clone motor, pretty well the same thing Harbor Freight's got. It's just a different name. They're all made in China, I'm sure they come out of the same factory or close on the same block in China. You know, one person makes it, everybody copies it. So, anyways, enough of that but like i said pretty well same thing and you can put electric start on the predators just not the hemis but you can the ones with the uh the stamp 10 valve cover you can, on the predators you can add electric start to them so like i said pretty well same engine so i'll set the camera up well you can watch me put this battery on it shouldn't take too long i'm just going to wire nut it together for an experiment and we'll see if it'll start so hang on all right moment of truth we're gonna do it down and dirty just for an experiment here all right moment of truth All right, so there you have it. It starts on a little battery. So I'm gonna cut the video off, but let me know your thoughts on the charging with that little lithium battery. So I ain't sure on the amperage put out, but it puts out like 15 and a half volts. I'm, I think most of these factory chargers don't put out, but like an amp and a half, maybe three at the most. So I think you gotta put a double in them to get three in factory, they're an amp and a half, so. 
anyways let me know your thoughts but it did work so eh, here's what it is i had to try it why not <laughs> so if you like the video please give me a thumbs up it does help the channel subscribe you on already and you'll get to see more quirky mad science out here like that so as always like and subscribe i'll catch you on the next video bye